All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Sculpting with Scampy. I am your host, Scampy. Um, <clears throat> today on this episode of Sculpting with Scampy, we are going to be talking mainly about uh, planting. That's going to be tonight's episode. However, I do have um, two items to clear up in the forums um, from previous broadcasts, so we're going to go ahead and go over those as well. Um, as always, if you guys have questions, you can go ahead and ask them. That's what the main purpose of this show is, is to ask any questions you might have, so um, feel free to do that. I am joined by my silent partner in crime, Mrs. Scampy, and my son, Little Scampy, um, who is sleeping. So I'm going to try to keep my voice down. So if you guys have problems hearing me, let me know. Uh, how you doing, Chad? Um, later on, we'll also be continuing speed design. And that's the show. So, um... We are um, at one of my works in progress here um, for a couple for a couple reasons. Um, I wanted to have land that had already been worked for the bunkers I was going to talk about tonight. Um, <clears throat> someone had asked. I showed last week two different ways to do bunkers. One by working with the bunker already intact. And another by tracing the bunker, removing the bunker, and then uh, sculpting inside that little space. Uh, and somebody asked me, no, it's it's pretty great, Jacob. They're uh, they're good cast characters, if a little silent. Um, <clears throat> how you doing, Rhino? Um, so somebody had asked what the benefit was to doing it the way that I prefer, which is to take the um, bunkers out of location. So I wanted to kind of um, show you guys that now. So I'm going to put down two incredibly similar bunkers um, over here where there's some raised lands. How you doing, Jeremy? How you doing, uh, Tonio? Um, a lot of good names tonight. Well, that's officially his nickname. We can start calling him that. That's fine. We usually call him... Um, Little boy, but Shrimp Scampy is definitely much more hilarious. Um, so, um, I'm going to show two different methods um, again, and I'm going to try to explain the benefits to doing my method. Um, what happens when you sculpt inside a bunker that's already been laid down? It does kind of mess up the um, land that is around it, and I can I can give a good example showing how. Um, I Last week, I raised up um, some land and made a very high-lipped bunker in the back. Um, and I never went back and showed that you can't really do the same thing using the other method. So that's kind of what we're going to do today. Let's see if I did this right. Usually I have this set up for you guys, but we had some technical difficulties. I got really confused with uh, Colin Mafia's stream. Apparently Twitch hosts other people's. It's I don't know. I'm not sure how that all works, but I got confused. Uh, okay, so um, if we wanted to take this area right here and make it grass instead, um, if I wanted to make that grass instead of highlight bunker, I can really only do it, at least do it well, um, with the technique I talked about last time. So um, what I had talked about last time was using um, the measure tool to trace the outline. With this, since it's a simple shape, all I need to do is a little cross shape um, just so I can fit it back in later. Highlight over the bunker, move it out of the way. And now what I have is land that I completely work and make mine. I can do whatever the heck I want to it. Um, if I tried to do it with this, it would actually lower as I went. And I'll show you how to do that, or what I mean by that later. But um, with this, all I have to do is get uh, this soft brush circle. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly move forward so that I have a flat bunker and as I'm slowly moving forward and I keep applying, I'm going to create this high lip towards the back. Now, again, this is an incredibly simple shape. Like, uh, it obviously can get a little more complicated. This is much more time consuming. But when I plug this back in, it's going to look much better. I now have a very high back here. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to work with the bunker still in place. I'm literally going to take the exact same shape, I'm going to stick it right here, and I'm going to keep moving forward and applying, and I'll show you what happens to the plot. Why it does this, I don't know, but if you'll notice, the bunker is seeking in incredibly low. Incredibly low. 
So the difference between these two is now ridiculous. What happens is every time I inch forward with this, I have 18 people, holy cow. Every time I inch forward with this tool, it, it uh, sinks that bunker in for whatever reason. And I don't really know why. I think it's because every time you apply with the bunker, every time, I don't get it, Jacob. Every time I move forward with the bunker, it's sinking it in. So this gives me much more flexibility, I think, with what I can do to the earth around it. Um, it is time consuming. It can get pretty tedious. Um, but when you take it out of there, you can prevent this kind of thing from happening. So hopefully that uh, answers your question as to why I prefer this method as opposed to this one. I used it in TGC 1.2 because I had a similar issue. And honestly, I just that's what I've been doing. It makes sense because in real life, um, it makes sense in real life because um, they sculpt the land first and then they add the sand. We're really just doing the same thing here. So uh, that's the difference. Uh, next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, the first cut. Somebody had a question about first, uh, first cut. So I just wanted to clarify how I do it and how a couple other people do it. There's, to me, no real rhyme or reason to do either of these. It's really up to you. You can do whatever the heck you want. You just should do them right. <clears throat> I'm not going to save any of this. It doesn't matter. Okay, so um, a lot of people have been using splines, which is good. It's quick. Um, I'll actually show you three. Um, a lot of people have been using splines. The way I've been doing it is zooming in to a certain point. It's really up to you. Um, and making sure that corner hits that inside patch. And you're going to just apply. Keep going around. Like so. And obviously you would do this the whole way. Don't need to do the whole thing. And I'll see if I can get one of the issues going with this. No, that actually looks pretty decent. Except for right there. Okay, so this is a good this is a good example. So when you do the spline. Um, when you do the spline, it gives you these weird, I don't know, indentations for some reason that you later have to go back in and edit. All you gotta do is you gotta take the oval brush and stick it back out like this. It's a little wide, but you get the idea. If I was doing that right, I would do it better. Um, problem is, is that this is a very wide fairway. You would have to do that a, a lot. Like you would have to go back and make sure that you're checking all that. Um, on Tace's official course that he made for the game, um, he used splines one places or at one place and he missed um, a little spot on the fairway where the spline didn't quite cover the fairway and there was a tiny little patch of grass. I mean, it's not really his fault. He, it's kind of hard to find them all the time. Um, but that's the other issue that can come with using splines is there can be, there is one right there. You can barely tell that's there. And so you gotta go find that stuff. So for me, if I'm in a hurry, I'll use splines. Um, but I, I honestly prefer it when my rough is completely even all the way around and when I don't have to go back and backtrack all those issues. Um, another method that people have used from TGC1 is the three-click method, or four-click, two-click, whatever you want to do. Um, if you apply repeatedly, oh, it's not a bad idea, Reeb. Yeah. Um, so I've applied three times there, and it's given me a nice. Um, a nice little patch going around. <laughs> no light rough. I love the light rough look. Um, it's giving me a nice even um, all the way around. The problem with that is is that once you pick up and move on to a different area, you're not necessarily sure how wide it looks. So I have no idea whether or not I'm getting that as wide. So that's a little wavy to me. It's not really my fan, but um, it is a nice, quick, easy way of doing it if you aren't completely anal like me and like a completely even band of rough going all the way around. Um, if you are a crazy person like me, um, I love to measure. You can get as meticulous as you want with it, um, but I like measuring anywhere from two to three to four out. Whoa. Doesn't have to be exact. <clears throat> mm. 
Yeah, Reeve and Jeremy, I'll have to try that out. Um, actually, Reeve, I think your name might be Jeremy. Um, but, um, no, oh, Brian Jeffords, that's right. Um, this is, uh, this is what I do, though. Just go around and make sure that we're about as even as possible using the circle brush. And that gives you a nice even band going all the way around. Um, I do this throughout the entire thing. Um, I think it looks pretty good at the end. So uh, that should answer the rough question that was in there. Those are three different methods that you can use. Um, you should also pay attention to what Reeb and Mayday and Antonio Scarpacci have been saying because it sounds like they got something pretty good for spines, blinds. So. Um, tonight's main topic is on planting. Um, there was, again, another question about something I had used in the previous episode, but I had been wanting to talk about um, planting anyways. How you doing, Els? Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to talk about planting anyway, so we can go back. Um, a lot of people have no idea where to put their planting. Um, the goal for planting is you want to make sure that the golf course comes first and the planting is off second. But then once you have your plant, or once you have your your fairway where you want it to be your rough where you want it to be, your bunkers where you want it to be, get the planting off to the side. It's okay for planting to be in view, you just don't want it to take up uh, the entire the entire screen. Like, let the golf come first. Um, however, when you do get to that, you got to try to find spaces where um, planting makes sense. So, if you go out and look at um, nature, just real life nature, um, Things tend to clump together. Um, you won't have, like I see a lot of planting like this. Let me see if I can create this real quick. Um, no. Where am I going? I see a lot of planting like this. Well, look at nature more often. Pay attention. I tend to see a lot of planting like this, except with like lots of flowers thrown in and everything like that. Uh, it doesn't really look this way. Like because these grasses will produce seeds that will fall next to them, everything tends to grow in clumps. Um, and I think you can reproduce the look pretty easily um, on TGC. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. I don't know. Um, but you know, if I'm going to have a flower right here or a bush right here, that flower is going to stay in the same area or even, um, you don't want to spread the planting too far out. Um, a good trick that I use is to, let me get rid of all this. A good trick that I use is try to find these brown spots made by the natural terrain. Oh, I am. You have no clue. Actually, my wife is legitimately a scientist. Miss Scampi is a scientist. I can actually say that. Not with uh, grasses and stuff, but... So anywhere where you see these brown spots, I always consider a really good area for planting. It gives you a finite area where you can kind of stick in. Um... <laughs> Gross. Gross. Um, it gives you kind of a finite area where you can, uh, microbiologist, she works with TB and other things. I think she closed her eyes because I think I messed that up, but that's okay. Either way, she's really cool. Um, okay, so the actual planting reason I wanted to talk about was a lot of people do not know the planting trick, especially if you are on, um, the consoles as opposed to PC because it takes so long. Um, I've showed this trick before, um, but in case you haven't seen it, and there have been some questions on it, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this outline here underneath the tree line. <clears throat> You're going to, with your uh, left pointer finger, start spinning this grass like this, 
And then with your left thumb, you're going to move the grass around. And then what you're going to do is just scam or spam whatever your apply button is. Um, and it'll take too long for the CPU to catch up. You can plant a whole bunch before it does. So I'm just going to literally apply. And every time you hear that bing, it's going to plant grass. Haven't played around with it yet, but I have buried a whole bunch of things. Walls, railings, um, we can start to get really creative with this game. The good thing about this trick is it does give you a whole bunch of um, variety in size. Not really, Royce. It, it actually seems worse. Um, is that you can do a difference in size. When you multi-plant, the grass is incredibly small, um, so you can't really see it from a distance. This does help you to see a little better. However, you do want to make sure you avoid jungle grass as much as possible. Um, uh, it varies. It depends on the course. Um, if it's like a Swiss theme, um, I'll go with something a little more rocky, a little more... I don't know, earthen, but if it's like a country club, like I'll try to be a little more ritzy, but it depends. Anyways, that looks like incredibly natural grass. Um, I can throw in some bushes here. Point being, you want a lot of your planting to be off the beaten path um, because this is where people would be mowing. The reason why you are rotating is because soldier planting is extremely lazy. Um, I hate seeing um, this type of thing on the course. This is lazy. Looks terrible. That looks much better. So this is this is a good planting section. Um, I like to put them underneath trees because again, that's kind of how nature works. Um, and that's kind of it. I think I've gone through about 20 minutes. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, real quick, a uh, plug for Reeb's new course. I haven't played it yet, um, but uh, the pictures in the work in progress looked really good, and it's Reeb Duke, so it's going to be a good course, so you should go play it. I think it's called Hyperion. Yep, uh, same, th yep, exactly. Um, start small, and as you work back, get bigger. That way you don't hide the plants in the back, but it also just looks more natural. It's, uh, that's more of an art thing. Okay, um... <clears throat> I am going to switch over to speed design now. I had a lot of fun with it last week. I have reviewed tape and tried to figure out what I can improve on. For hole number two. All right, so this is speed design. Um, here are the rules of the game. I get 15 minutes from a set point to make a par three. I'm going to do this for nine weeks. I'm going to make nine holes over the course of those um, nine weeks. And then on the 10th week, I get 30 minutes to go back in and do anything that I want to those nine holes. <laughs> nope, par three. You can throw me a retaining wall if you want to, though. Um, after those 10 weeks, I will release a small par 3, um, or a, a small par 3 course. Um, I am going to change it up a little differently this week. Um, last week, somebody threw out the idea that every hole has to incorporate something new, um, just to make it a little more challenging, throw in a couple more wrinkles. So starting this week... Um, if you guys want to give me a um, goal or something for this second hole, 
uh, go ahead and shout it out. Not yet, not yet. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the word go, and the first person to type their suggestion in the box has to, uh, or, or win. So Reeb is disqualified because he didn't wait. So um, It can be something simple, like uh, a pill. It can be something ridiculous, like throw a bear in there. I have a feeling that retaining walls are going to be popular. Um, but uh, go ahead and get ready with your ideas. And on the count of three, one, two, three, go. Lake on the front right wins it. Okay, so as soon as we hit 23, I will go ahead and go. Sphincter Canyon with Amorous Bears. That sounds like a poorly made porno. I don't know if I'm allowed to say porno on Twitch, but that sounds like Brokeback Cowboys 2, the bear. <clears throat> It really is simple. Actually, I already forgot it. What was it? Lake front right? All right. So let's see where I got to go here. Um, back towards the clubhouse, away from the clubhouse, on the right. Um, keep going. St I'm going to go off this direction. No planning, just winging it. All right. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, I have until the 38 minute mark. Um, let's see. Um, I think the last one I did was 180. Let's make this 190. Um, 160. I'm going to turn the green. Nope, 190. Too much time. Okay. One of the mistakes I made last time was making five tea boxes. That was a huge waste of time. This is a par three. You can shoot it from one set of tees. I have decided. I'm off to a slow start. Holy cow. I gotta get these trees down. It's taking way too much time. That's a minute gone already. I am screwed. All right. Trees, trees, trees. Where's trees? Um, Eric released his course. Anybody get to play it yet? It was very hilly. Very, very hilly. Oh, maybe not able to talk about that with uh, Brian in the chat room. Got to be quicker next time. Uh, I've got to go till 38.
know if I like how that's looking. A little too late to change it now. <laughs> at some point, at some point. Maybe next time. I'm sure there will be a bear hole on here somewhere. Can always throw a bear in the distance. Although, I'm not going to lie, any bear or duck or anything that I do put down on the last episode when I have 30 minutes, I will delete it. So, really, you're just wasting my time later. <laughs> you know, you could probably... Well, they took whales out. You just got, uh, it's got koi now, which I do like. I do like the koi. No one's going to look at them, but I do like the koi. They took whales out. They're gone. I like the koi, I just don't think anybody's going to use them, or anybody's going to see them. Uh, there's a course near my house that's uh, got koi in their little pond they have by the clubhouse. I think it's really cool. I thought about doing a real course recreation of it. I love that course, but... Uh, I think I'm going to bring this up. I am at the 28-minute uh, mark, which means I have a little less than 10 minutes left. Um... Giant rock between the lake and green. Um, maybe? We'll see. I don't know if I have time for it. Oh, shoot. I messed that up. Oh yeah, no, uh, these challenges over the next couple weeks like could get really good. I think it's going to be fun to kind of like shape the course uh, based on these challenges. So, I mean, that's like a very doable one, like put some red slopes in. Okay, that's a really high bank. I don't know if I like that. What I'm doing here is just trying to give a little shape to this um, to this coastline here just so it looks a little less sculpted and a little more natural. Um, this is a simple way to do it. Coming up on eight minutes left. I don't remember what I had to do. Last time I was doing the T's and the pins at the very last minute. I was trying to cut some time out. I think I brought the trees up way too quick last time. Definitely um, cut down on what I could do. Uh, I think I've already made a mistake here. Um, I think that with the orientation of the green that I have here, I'm not sure that a long club could carry. I'm not sure what my firmness settings are here. Um, and think if I remember right, the uh, speed is really slow, so might be able to stop. But uh... not here yet. No rock. Don't know if I'll have time. I got other stuff to do. Maybe later. Or are you asking for drugs? Because I don't have the drugs either. Hey, so Jake, I know you're getting really frustrated with the designer. Are you planning on uh, dropping out? Because if so, you should not. I would try to keep with it. If possible. Well, that looks like donkey turds.
See the dog watching intently? Yeah, no, yeah, definitely don't give up, because... <laughs> From what I can see, the course looks pretty good. So definitely keep with that. Hopefully they listen to us like they usually do and they uh, they patch it over. Okay, that looks not bad. Um, all right, uh, for anyone joining, um, I have 15 minutes to make a par three. I'm on the second hole um, in a weekly series. And I am coming up on time. Say, Brian. Uh, at some point in time, I've got to have Brian co-host on the show. I'm going to start having co-hosts who can uh, sound off on uh, the way that they're doing things, too. Because uh, the way that I do things is not the only way to do things. So Definitely like having others on the show. At some point in time, I want to get uh, my good buddy Pablo on, but he's from Spain, so this time slot doesn't really work for him, so we might have to do a special edition for him. Okay, coming up on four minutes, trying to bring these trees up. See if I can't throw a giant rock in there. Can make a giant rock, but at what cost? Do I have enough time? I'm coming up on just four minutes. For anyone wondering how you do a giant rock in the middle of a lake, this is how. That's a new rock I've never seen before. I've never been in this theme. I didn't realize they had new rocks. Well, I'll be darned. There's some rocks. I don't like them. So I hope you're happy, whoever you are. Um. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. I'm doing it the old way. Chad, what would I do without you? Okay, I've got to put some pin positions down. I've got a sculpt. This is getting, this is getting uh, close. It's giving me teas anyways. I don't want to do tea boxes. Okay, let's see. Less than three minutes left. I have a lot to do. No, 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 no. Wrong, 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 wrong. I feel like I'm being a terrible host because I'm concentrating so much, so... Uh... Everyone feel free to talk amongst themselves. <laughs> yeah, it's not going well. Um, I still wanted to get to some planting, and I'm not going to. Okay, I've got some... 
sloping off points here. It's a very crowned green at the moment. Um, change a little bit there, just to give it a little roll. Um, sink it just a smidge there. Oh, I got a minute left. I want to do some planting. Off to the side there. I got a minute for planting. How much planting can I do in one minute? If I could find my frickin' options. I need to get used to this designer. Don't even care what grass I'm using. Hey, I already got the giant rocks in there. They're there. I put them. Didn't do them right, but I put them there. <laughs> yeah, I, I really should just start calling it the design show. People will take it to, literally. Like Jacob. Alright, 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 alright. No! Crap bushes! No, I didn't plan on crap bushes. If you have to ask, then you don't get it, Jacob. Like, you're either a giant rock person or you, you aren't. Oh, crap! Five, four, three, two, one. And time. Those are awful. I hate every second of them. All right, we are done. Um, just like last week, I'm going to uh, play test what I've got. Yeah, you missed it. That was the first part of the stream. It's a way to uh, put a whole bunch of planting. Yeah, it's a way to put a whole bunch of planting down real quick. This is actually a little tall for my liking. And I was hurrying, so uh, it doesn't look as smooth as it can. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty great. Lots done in very little time. Uh, if you uh, when I put this back on the uh, when I post this back to the forum, um, <laughs> um, when I put this back on the forum, you can uh, see how I did it at the beginning. Um, so yeah, I'm going to playtest this, um, and then when I'm done, unless anybody has any more questions, uh, I will be done. And I will sign off. See how terrible this is. Uh, next week, I actually wanted to do it this week. Um, I don't remember who brought it up. I don't know who brought it up, but somebody brought up in the chat rooms um, the philosophy behind a drivable par 4, and I will be doing that next time, talking about a drivable par 4. The stuff you should avoid. <laughs> uh, you can do it yourself, it's easy. It's pretty soft landing, so this long carry is not really a huge issue, usually with long... Uh, Usually with long carries, you want to be careful about the orientation of your green. I've got it got it long ways. It's not very deep going back, but it's soft, so it's not a huge issue. Ah, so close. So it's actually uh, it's actually a really awkward day in the Scampi household. I uh, I got fired from my job at the helium factory. Uh, my boss pulled me into the office and started yelling at me, and I just won't be talked to in that tone of voice. Nobody. That's okay. Very clearly, is this going to become a thing with you? It, it was a joke, Jacob. 
a very bad joke. My wife is shaking her head, laughing. She's pretty embarrassed. Okay, okay, good. I kept telling you at work, and uh, people kept saying you didn't want to blow up or something like that, which is uh, actually a better punchline, but... Oh, this is frustrating. I don't want to keep restarting every time. Uh, so what does everybody think? I really, actually, I didn't quite plan to do it, but this high white, like, lime rock look is really sweet off the tee. Really like that look, absolutely, actually. Oh, wow, you still remember that. That's embarrassing. That's really upsetting, actually. See you next week. Practice that planning. So you're off to the right. It looks really good. All right. Uh, like I said, I will add these um, back to the site so you can go back and catch anything if you want to. I'm going to play this last pin position, and then... Uh, <laughs> And then uh, I will be signing off. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you had some fun. I try to keep people entertained. Hopefully people learn something. That's really close to that yellow. It's going to be a lot of fun when I've actually got nine holes on this thing. And I'm not really planning it out ahead of time where I want everything to go. Another thing I got to do is uh, take pictures of all these and actually put pictures of them in the forums too. Anyways, I'm going to finish this up. Thank you everyone for joining me. Everybody have a good night. Hooked again. Ah. See you, Jeremy.